Good evening everyone, Justin here from Short Stuff LP and I'm going to be showing off a new pulse limiter design. The difference between say this one using the repeater locks which works on the downward edge and say this one which just works off or works off the uh, leading edge is that this one can be changed to uh, not just a 4 tick like this one's limited to, that can only go up to a 4 tick pulse limit, but this one can be made into possibly a 10 tick. Now why you, you want to change a button press into a 10 tick, I don't know, but you could change, you could use this to change other types of pulses, anything that goes in to uh, limit, it, limit it to a smaller pulse. The uh, only limitation of this is that the pulse going in has to be at least nine ticks long. So, I don't know why these are called clocks. I guess I was drunk when I made this, but that's supposed to say tick. This changes it to two tick, tick, three tick, four tick, five tick. And if you have none of these levers up, it makes it into a one tick pulse going around the circuit. We'll just quickly uh, demonstrate its one tick capability. I'll press the button here. Pulse will go through and it'll be a one tick going all throughout this clock. Then I can press the button again and it'll delete the tick out of there. And there we go. Now I'll say if I want to change my 10 tick pulse into a 4 tick, just flip that lever, flip the switch, goes in there, gets locked in as a 4 tick pulse. I can press the button again and it'll delete it out of there. Now if I wanted to increase all the pulse lengths by one, I could go around here, place this repeater over here, and now we can never have a one tick pulse. All of them off will create automatically a two tick pulse, as can be seen here. I have two ticks racing around, and let's delete it out, and our original five tick pulse that we had entered has now turned into a six tick pulse as can be seen here. Now the problems with having it on the original first design that I had shown all of you just a second ago whoops, is that you are powering a repeater to be locked into its on state the same tick that is supposed to be depowered and you're locking this repeater that is depowered on the exact same tick that is supposed to be powered so there can be some funky results dealing with that but uh, just to solve that I had this one going in as a 6 tick even though it takes 5 ticks to get through all this well 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yeah it takes 5 ticks to get through all the way up to here I put a 6 tick pulse in and to solve this problem you can just do what I did a minute ago and lock it right here that will ensure that you'll always have a uh, or that you'll never lock the entire clock that I have right here into an on state by accidentally locking this one on. Yes, as I said ago, that will lock it into a two tick minimum pulse, but I believe that is a adequate sacrifice for having this as reliable. If you guys want me to show you how to build it, I can. If you just want to have a download for the world, I can pick that up if you so wish. Otherwise, I'll just go over a few things right quick. If you don't want to see that, you can leave right now. Alright, now that all the losers are gone, <laughs> uh, what this uses is, one, the uh, wire cutting technique, and two, repeater locks. That's basically all it uses. What I do when I push this button is that one, uh, pushes this piston back out using a T flip-flop. The very simple T flip-flop. Pulse limiter, T flip flop. Yes, I have a pulse limiter affecting how a pulse limiter works. But yeah, it shoots that T flip flop, goes into here, which is a pulse extender. It'll extend that one tick pulse out into six ticks, shoot it through, and it'll also send a pulse down into here, which will nine ticks later power this line, which will be depowered by the time it reaches here. And I'll extend that uh, pulse length by six ticks which will give this exactly enough time, well not 9 ticks, we'll uh, lengthen it by 4 ticks, 
which will give this enough time to power all the way through this, reach this one, and, and get locked. It's not specifically timed. I believe I can change this by a tick or two, and it'll still work. As you can see, it'll just act a little funky. Let me just set it back, delete the tick out of there. If you can see everything from here, you could probably build it all based on this video. In fact, I'll just give you a good look right here. Underneath the two wool blocks over the ditch on the left, that's just two redstone, nothing special, not repeaters or anything. And then underneath all the pistons, except for the one on the far right, is redstone so that it will not interfere with the pistons on top. Alright, now that I've given you guys a fair view, I believe it is time to cut this video and uh, have you guys go along your merry way. Well then, this has been Justin from Short Stuff LP with a programmable pulse limiter, I guess you'd call it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.